welcome back. I hope that you have your um, tennis ball, um, all the green in your tennis ball now. And I think I'm going to add a little bit more. Um, the neat thing about um, Krita is that you can go back and it saves all of your color selections on the side right here. There's my green. I'm going to go back and put a little more green in some of these areas. And fill in kind of these areas that maybe look a little sparse. I don't want it to be solid. I want to keep that texture because that's the difference in that that's one of the that's one of the advantages to this program. So I want to keep the, that texture. And I want to go in and use that darker green to put down here in that shadowy area where you'll have less light ref le less reflect less reflective light in this area so add a little more um, a little bit of a darker value in here and I can go back and add a lighter value Um, up on, up here on the top where it's kind of the nice thing if you make if you make a mistake you can always undo anything or you can um, layer more colors it's kind of like a real painting where you're just layering lots of glaze on top of each color to really build up that surface quality that you want and this surface quality you can see is really becoming a lot more complex with each layer and the texture is just really becoming more vibrant and alive with that furry feeling of a tennis ball And let's put a little bit, um, let's put a, a little bit even lighter right up here. I don't know if I want it to have totally white, but I do want it to be lighter, maybe even lighter. There. And if I wanted to lighten this, without it being brighter but just lighter I can just adjust the um, opaque setting again and make it less less opaque more, a little more translucent but I like the the depth in the texture using the layered effect as you can see, it's really um, beginning to show a lot of depth. Okay, so I think my fluff is about done. I've got layers of dark and light. I've put in my highlights. Maybe I'll put a few more highlights up in here. But I've got my highlights in there and um, sort of darker areas and so now what I want to do is take that layer out with the circle so I'm going to go back over here to layers I'm going to look at that layer the second layer that I put in with the circle I'm actually going to click, click that and do remove layer now that layer is gone so now we're actually going to want to create a shadow effect and 
So we're going to go back down and create a new layer. So we want that layer on the top. We're going to be working on that layer. So now I'm going to go back over here to my brushes and select go back to my brushes and select an oil brush and if you don't find the brush that you're looking for, you can always download more brushes with Krita for free. Everything is, that's the really cool thing about this, is it's all free. All the updates, um, additional downloads, they're all free. So I'm going down here, I'm looking for an oil brush. It's an ink brush. And it's a layout dry circle. There's more ink. You can see that there's just a huge range of brushes. Okay, so now that I've selected my brush, I'm going to go back up here to get gray. We want to put that line in that tennis balls have. A tennis ball has a, a curve that goes, well that's a little bit too big. Of a curve. It's kind of a th thinner line goes kind of swoops down I can always go over the top of this too. So I'm looking at this line and thinking, oh, this, I don't like this texture. But remember that I can go back to my previous brush stroke. Um, which was the rake. And I'm gonna put I'm gonna cover some of that area up I don't that I don't care for. And just kind of clean it up. I'm just going to kind of clean up those edges. And I want to kind of soften them as well. Even though that line in a tennis ball is pretty distinctive, I'm going to soften the edges slightly because um, it is a fuzzy text the, the areas around those lines are fuzzy textures. Okay, now that gray, we want to give it a, a little bit of we 
we want to give that gray a shine. So we're going to go back to our um, paint brushes. I'm going to make this a little smaller. Gonna get some white. I'm gonna kind of, oops, it's a little too opaque. I can, you can see, you can just adjust this as you need to. shrink the brush down a little bit more as I turn this corner. There we go. And I can increase that and again layering kind of blending those together. Just like when you're oops, messed up, go back and you can undo. Okay, so there's my line and I'm just going to kind of clean that up a little bit. So I go ahead and pause the video while you're cleaning yours up. Okay, so my line looks pretty good. I'm going to go back over now and do a nice blending. So I'm looking for a blending brush. Bristle Special Blender. Let's try, let's try that blender. to shrink that way down. And let's continue shrinking that brush. We can actually turn the brush too. Let's see. I don't think that's what I want. So I can redo. And we'll check again. That's what I'm looking for. So I'm just going to kind of go through and soften these edges. Oops, it's a little too much. Soften the edges. And I'm just going to kind of go through and now pause this and go ahead and catch up to me and soften all your edges. Now we're going to add another layer. We're going to add a layer for the shadow. So again, you go back to the um, layers, add. Now working on this layer, we're going to um, select that brush again, the oil brush, and um, we are going so I'm just adding that shadow in there now. 